Hello. Hi. I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well. So today, I just have a few things to talk to you about. I wanted to let you know that we are in this energy now that is going to firmly close the door on a lot of things. And it's also having to do with elevating the heart and mind. Now, as some of you may know, I already had my webinar about uh, the healing of the psyche, which is one of your subtle bodies. The psyche is not a mind thing, although it affects the mind. The psyche is one of your subtle bodies. I have part two coming up this weekend, December 17th and 18th. And that's what I am also announcing. Thank you to everyone who participated. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that towards the end here. I want to let you know that you and your twin flame will or have already become unpinned. And this will be continuing to happen from now until January. And what I mean by unpinned is the things that were either holding you up and not just the things that were propping you up from underneath, not just the things that are supporting you, because a lot of that may have given way or dissolved away. And you may have reached up and something supporting you, but you're not going to stay pinned there. It's going to be like this for you. The floor is dissolved and you know, you're unpinned. And if this is your twin and the things that they believed in are the things that they got unpinned from, you have to help your twin while they're bobbing in the water. And the water is the emotion. The water is the emotional energy of the heart, especially the cosmic heart. That's why, that's why uh, people will use motifs and artwork of water to depict emotion or watery animals, animals that are aquatic animals. And they will feel themselves the same way. The other thing to let you know, some of this is your twin having the very last ditch effort to hang on to 3D. How, if your twin has rooted themselves into something, whoops, they went ahead and got married, whoops, they went ahead and got a boyfriend, got a girlfriend, and they are now rooting themselves, they're putting down roots, and you're saying, oh, no, 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 no. We are supposed to be together. How in 5D and on Earth are you going to get them unrooted? How do you unroot them because you're also unrooting yourself too? How do you do that? I have ways to help you do that. And one of the ways is that if you think about it, if you're leaving 3D, does 3D, is, does anything 3D here need either one of your energies? So I do talk about that in great detail in my webinar, and I have tools for you. So how do you get this done? The other thing to let you know is there are energies opening up here much broader so much more broad-based, meaning that people who've recently awakened, and I'm talking about people who maybe woke up in 2014, you met your twin, you had parts of your life shut down, you were ready to finish concluding your earth and your cosmic level karma. You probably just concluded your universal karma. I define universal karma having to do with those things that are your material world, your material comforts, the people around you. A lot of people, especially if you're a Blu-ray, you have been feeling both chased right out of 3D, like pushed out, shoved out, don't darken my door, don't come back here kind of feeling, a witch hunt. You're feeling this intensely, and yet you have people here that you love. Maybe you're caring for a parent. Maybe you have children, and that's your universal karma. You're here to stabilize them. You're here to um, be, in some ways you may not like to hear it, but you are that pillar of strength. 
but it's your love that forms the pillar. It's not just your heart, and it's certainly not your human body. So that's some of the key differences is how do you get things off that feel like they're a drain or painful to your human body, even while you would love to be able to be of assistance. And forget about mission. Some people are just not in shape for doing a mission, much less. You need to get healthy. You need to get, you need to recuperate. You need to gather pretty much heart and soul out of everything 3D. So in earnest, from about December 8th, we just had a portal of this energy, broad-based energy, on this full moon, 12th. And this is on the up. The 21st is the culmination. This is the equalizer. This is the balancing point. But this is also going to be a catapult. This is going to fling you forward fling you upwards until January 30th. And like everything with twin flames, there's somewhat of a grace period. But once those batches of people get in there, they got to be in there and that's where the focus is going to be. So please don't talk yourself out of this. If this is your destiny and you feel it's time and you met that person and your heart and your body is longing for them, the longing and the desire is there on purpose. That's how you magnetize each other. You have to be able to hold each other's energy. Neither one of you are intended to recharge your batteries and then go hop back into something else. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? The door is closing on 3D forever as of the solstice. Okay, so for some people that might be Life, it's especially going to be lifestyle. You know, do they go out? Do they not exercise? Do they not play? If you're living an old lifestyle, if you've known for some time that there's things you should be doing, things about yourself to take care of, maybe it's getting organized, maybe it's purging a closet, maybe it's moving, maybe it's getting out of a job, start to do it now. This is the time where you're going to feel... You know, for some people, this is the divide. Some of you are in the stay put for your twin so that they can do those things. And some of you are in the get, get movement. I'm sorry, this is a bad pen. I don't know why I always choose bad pens. <laughs> get movement. Okay, now the movement starts, as I've told you, your cosmic connections are along your spine, they're along your solar plexus. How do you do it? You move your body. You move your light body. It's not always human body movements, and that's what I teach. You get movement, you get this stuff out. Some of you have had the cork pulled on stuff that you and your twin have had bottled up for lifetimes. And the emotions are coming up and out. They're welling up. Anger, stress, mental scatter. You're unable to focus. You're having maybe knee pains, uh, ankle pain. You're having a little bit of heartache here. You're having some kind of throat or upper respiratory inflammations. But it's all preparatory. It's A lot of us would like to say, what's going on now? What is this thing that I've got? And what does it have to do with a twin flame? And that's a question a lot of people have. But I can tell you why. I explain it in great detail in these. And it's generally to clear so that... What you're holding is not a comfort. You're holding each other within there. That's how you stay balanced. That's how you stay calm. And that's how you're ready for every crisis. You're not rising to a crisis. You're not rising to the occasion as the result of a crisis. You're leaving the cause and effect way of living in 3D. That's what you're leaving behind. And along with it, your heart is letting you know when to take actions and not letting the ego mind take over. So it will be those things like the 100 month monkey effect. Oh my goodness, chicken little, the sky is falling. Now we saw some of this with Brexit. 
and a lot of people were upset. That was the end of Mars Energy starting right in the UK and a lot of people claiming their sovereignty back. And England never really adopted the currency, but some of the others have to get their houses in order. They've gotten derailed with invasions and wars, and we've all been affected by this. We saw this in my country. And this is the end of the Mars energy. Interestingly, I looked at a map and where some of the uh, things were, and it was very similar to territories once held by Spain and territories once held by France. And yet, the angelic tribes from both those countries, the origins, this goes way back, ladies and gentlemen, this goes back to Mars. And you're seeing it pop up in your face. You're having people vomit the stuff out of them, the things that they say, the, the nastiness. The nastiness is coming out. Good. Let it out. Get it out. You don't have to let it get vomited on you. I'm not letting it vomit on me, but I have tools to do this with. What do you do when you meet your twin and your twin starts telling you everything? Or what if you don't meet your twin and yet you start to know things about their life, what they're really up to, what is going on behind closed doors, and you become very shocked. What do you then do about it? Because I can guarantee you, doing it the old Mars way and having a confrontation is not going to be the way. So if you have a couple who loves each other very much and they belong in their union, what the heck are these other people doing here? Where she can say to him, I love you very much, but every time we're together, I feel the shadow of your ex behind me. And he says, well, that's funny because I can feel other men in your life who've had an influence on you. I can feel your ex and your dad and your brothers and I'm paying the price for it. I'm paying the price for everyone who's ever been abusive to you. I can't take it anymore. But they're stuck. Look, look at everyone that, that this is just some of what's gotten into their bed. And they don't like it one little bit. They're carrying everyone's baggage with them. Their love can't heal those other people. They cannot do a thing for those other people. And what they need to do is get everyone else out so that they can fully be together. And she cannot pull upon her old fourth dimensional archetype. When she gets upset, oh my goodness, watch out. Because she becomes this. She pulls her tigress, the huntress, into position. And that's who he's dealing with. And he's like, oh boy, that's, that's a little scary. Why are you always pulling up this archetype with me? I'm not doing anything to you. In fact, this is just too, it's just too boring already. I'm, I'm tired of dealing with it. You're overly defensive. Well, have you seen what you turn into? I don't know what you're talking about. And this is how she has managed to protect and defend herself, is she will pull out her animal side, the animal mind that wants to survive, the defenses, her coping skills. And how does she not let this come between them anymore? How do you get it out? How do you get out the fight or flight? Now, for a lot of you, the fight or flight is coming out and it's making your body feel weird. It's very anxious. It can be headaches. It can be cravings for salt and sugar especially. And you may have other things that go with it like fatigue. And you can have pains in your lower area, especially in the sacral area. So, some things to help you. Now, if, like some people, you've gotten some of my stuff, you might want to dig it out and review it again. 
The webinar that I did in September, Universally Free to Fly, which especially addresses mental, emotional, esteem issues. How do you get out of the lower emotions? Because those emotions that have been bottled up telling you you're worthless, you don't deserve things, you're being judged, you're being, um, you're not entitled to your feelings, you're not entitled to feel angry about something. And how do you right size it and bring it into focus? What if it's become an addiction? What if you're addicted to the drama in your family and you want that with your twin, but you know it's wrong, okay? And your twin doesn't want it. Universally free to fly, okay? All of the mental, emotional drama stuff that the head's been addicted to, okay? And the sexual area, let's face it. What if someone meets someone and they're like, you're like a dead fish. I want you to fight me. Come on, get my juices going. That's not love. That's not even 3D sex. It's starting to verge into abuse. And it may not be the worst abuse, but it's abusive. The other thing, a lot of you are having dream time, weird dreams. Um, you are needing to really focus and scale your life to a place that is manageable for you. Because why? You're either already feeling or about to be living daily in your multidimensionality. And that means not just having, you know, not just doing the foot in two worlds or what I call the twin flame two step. Du -du -du. Now I'm this, now I'm that, now I'm this, now I'm that. No, you're going to be really experiencing plus living here, taking care of your responsibilities. If you have a Dharma, that's a responsibility, like children, a business, a house, a household, something that you bear responsibility to. That's dharma and that's different than karma. The return of your life, daily living in multidimensionality. This is where I have a lot of the information to, I've what I have done is distilled it down and made it very acceptable, understandable, and easy and some of this stuff you if you already have this review it again it's going to be helpful for you especially for this time and going into january and if not if you want it the links are below try to sign up for my healing psyche mind and body coming up this weekend the 17th and 18th if you're in Europe, it'll be in your afternoon. If you're in the United States, it's going to be in the morning. If you're in someplace further like Asia, Australia, I'm sorry, it's going to be probably in the middle of your night. But I am recording it. Now, one thing that people said that they enjoyed very much about it, even if they didn't participate, even if they only received the recording, was the ability to hear others to hear other people's experience and to hear my response to them because I receive it right on the spot and they might be the type of person where they're shy or quiet or they're maintaining some type of solitude for their union and they may not be the type to raise their hand and say oh I have a question and it's fine because there's a lot of things we talk about but they can hear other people in a safe environment this isn't through social media. It's a safe environment. And not only that, I end with a guided meditation for everyone. So if you'd like to try it, the link is below. You'll get both part one and part two. And I hope to see you there. I hope everyone has a wonderful week. The other thing I'm going to mention, other people may not know they're getting unpinned. Put your seatbelts on. I saw a car accident every single day a week ago, and they were bad accidents. One was a rollover off the road. One was a flaming wreck on the freeway, head-on collision, and it's just bad. Yesterday, I myself almost got into three accidents. We had snow here, and people forgot how to drive in it. You know, other people are experiencing the mental scattered. Don't become angry with them. Be kind and gentle. Cut them some slack. Cut your twin flame some slack. You'll be glad you did. And take good care of yourself. Bye now.